What's going on everyone? Golden Ticket to History here in Orlando, Florida at Plaza Live. Right off of uh, minutes from downtown Orlando. This is a video that I didn't really want to have to do, but we need to highlight and honor the person th that this video is about. The video is about a young singer by the name of Christina Grimmie. On June 10th, 2016, after perform on June 10th, 2016, after performing for Before You Exit as an opening act, uh, she performed till 10 o'clock at night and started doing some meet and greets. And then at 10:24, when she went to go open her arms up to one of the guests, the gentleman opened fire on her, shot her four times. She was rushed to Orlando Regional Medical Center, to which she passed away less than 30 minutes later. This is the final event for Christina Grimmie. She's best known for being a online YouTube superstar. She amassed millions and millions of followers. She started out as a teenage uh, singer, just covering other singers' famous songs, doing covers. Eventually found herself on The Voice, placing third under Adam Levine. She was opening up here on a Friday night, did a social media live post from Plaza Live asking people if they're in the Orlando area to come. And she was just a happy, nice person. I tend to not like to really do these types of videos, but we need to honor the lives. Uh, I did a previous video a few weeks back that covers another very grim very unfortunate event that happened in Orlando's history. It actually happened less than 24 hours, or about 27 or so hours after this event, and in some cases kind of foreshadowed and overshadowed the unfortunate loss of such a young life, which was the Pulse nightclub shooting. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, I've done a uh, video of the four final resting places in Greenwood Cemetery here in Orlando, which is a few moments, minutes from here. This location is a few miles from the Pulse nightclub, and it was a very, very, very dark time in Orlando's history. But I wanted to get an opportunity to make it out to this location to pay my respects and to honor a life that was gone too soon. James, um, Kevin James Lobel was a perpetrator. He traveled from St. Petersburg, Florida, which is about an hour and 20 minutes from here. He took a taxi cab. He was found with uh, two handguns, two magazines, and a hunting knife. He, uh, the show ended at 10 p.m. Then Christina started doing autographs, and around 1024, she was sitting behind the table. She went to go stand up, opened up her arms, to which James Lobel pulled out a gun and fired upon her, shot her four times. She hit the ground. Her brother Mark jumped over the table, tackled Lobel. They scuffled for a little bit. Lobel was able to get away and shot himself to death. It's an unfortunate event that happened here in history and here in Orlando. I wanted to take an opportunity just to pay my respects and to show and highlight the final resting, the final, not resting place, but the final show of Christina Grimmie. I know sometimes people think that doing these types of videos are done uh, not always the most positive light, but my goal and my intentions is to film them the most positive way possible and to honor the lives of those who are lost. Not to glorify the sick individuals who carried out and led to these events happening in the first place, but instead the, the impacts that the victims had on communities, on their loved ones, on society as a whole. The anniversary was a few days ago. Today is June 15th, 2021. So the fifth anniversary was five days ago. I uh, was making some potential intentions on showing up the day of the anniversary, but I wanted to give respect. So I wanted to give it a few days. 
so yeah, here's the Plaza Live. If you have an opportunity to come to Orlando and you want to see it to just pay your respects, maybe say a prayer if you're into something like that. But just to honor the final show of the life of someone who was gone just way too soon. Christina Grimmie was 22 years old, had plenty of life ahead of her, was doing amazing things, and it was cut short. I hope uh, that my thoughts are with the fans, with the family of Christina Grimmie, knowing that uh, this is not done to to show any type of distaste towards her, but instead to actually honor her. I haven't really seen any videos that have highlighted this specifically. I've seen a couple people have added it in as collaborations, but I wanted to give her her own day. Unfortunately, less than, less than 48 hours after her untimely passing, the Pulse nightclub shooting happened here in Orlando, and it kind of overshadowed the news and unfortunately took away a lot from her, and it wasn't fair. She shouldn't have had to share a video. She shouldn't have had to share a tragic event. Neither of these events should have happened. Not in Orlando, not anywhere. But a lot of her legacy was blemished. Well, the opportunity to celebrate her legacy, and it was very unfortunate. So I wanted to take this opportunity on my channel to... To give her the credit to do. So here is the Plaza Live. It's actually a quaint, nice little uh, theater. It's uh, they were doing some outside shows because of COVID. They were closed for months and months, but they were doing some outside shows. I believe there's something planned here in the near future. There's talks about it. But if you ever ever have an opportunity to make it out here and to pay respects to the final show of Christina Grimmie. I hope that you took an opportunity to do so and to highlight and to honor the legacy that she's left behind for all of her fans, her family, and her community. Christina Grimmie is buried in her home state of New Jersey. If I ever have an opportunity to make it up there, I would love to pay my respects to her final resting place, leave flowers, leave coins, and just show respect and to give her her time that she deserved. As always, hope you liked this video. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think. And always continue to look for the history and film. Until next time, have a good one, everyone, here at Plaza Live in downtown Orlando. Rest in peace, Christina. My thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. This event should never should have happened, but I hope that your legacy lives on forever. Until next time.